He will have me smoking again. I don't feel like that shit. Right. <laughs> right. I did not feel like smoking again either. I ain't had nothing else to do. So. It's like an occasional thing, a, a occasional thing that I feel like should go on. Like if a nigga got a J, that yeah, he want to pass it. I hit the J. <laughs> I ain't hit the J in a long time. But that's like when, that's an experience more so if you're doing it like that. But if you're doing it back to back, it's more of a like like a, you need it. Like it's just like yo, I gotta smoke it. Like when I but it's med- you don't believe that it's medication. The pens are easy to smoke like that. Come on, man. Mm, yeah, it can yeah, it, it, I feel like it can be for some people if, if it feel good to you and it's like it don't make you paranoid. Then yeah, it, can yeah, it don't make me you paranoid. Medication. You feel what I'm saying? That shit. What makes me paranoid like is the environment. If I'm somewhere with people that I don't know or don't really trust or feel safe around, or if I'm like somewhere I don't know where I'm at and I don't really feel safe, or if I don't know how to get myself out of a situation and I'm getting higher and higher, bro, I can't handle that <laughs> shit, bro. Like I shit. told you, bro, I'll get up and be like, I gotta go, bro. I'd rather get high around, like, if I was in a relationship, I'd rather get high with my girl or something. But that's what I'm saying. But that's that's the thing that I've always felt about it in the beginning that even doing it was like, this is a little vulnerable I'm I'm a, I f- I'm feeling I'm this is this is a little too vulnerable of a place to be putting myself in as a dude <laughs> as a dude right around all these dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if we was around women it would feel like the it, this shit every time it was a bunch of dudes with a bunch of girls smoking weed we all ended up with a girl and was making yeah, yeah, out yeah. or some shit like it wasn't like a but with dudes the paranoia you be thinking about everything else oh, like shit. Cause that's the other thing, like you just said, like yeah, I feel like if you was with a girl, you probably just be chilling. I said, cause my heart be beating dumb hard, and I be thinking that's not how it's supposed to be be beating. That's and if I was with a girl, I wouldn't even think about that. Like, but that too, like she would be there setting the tone for tone for real. That's like if she was acting that's weird, you might be paranoid. But if she was on some just you know real calm shit, or she was getting on in the mood. <laughs> uh-huh, exactly. yeah, and then I was thinking like if I smoke I gotta like I gotta set my whole vibe up like I gotta light some candles or something yeah but I'm great at that like, see I set my shit up so that paranoia <laughs> don't get in I set my uh-huh. shit up before I even start because I wanna that's why I, like people look at me like I'm crazy or I got OCD but I'm like setting everything up because I know once I'm hot I need to be able to relax in this space exactly. instead of like worrying but I ain't never thought about doing that till recently bro I was like, yo, if I like when I move and I decide I want to smoke one time, I got like I'm gonna light some candles and shit. Them the lights have some like. Some Told you, I used to be an instant ass nigga. And shit. Gypsy yeah, musk ass uh-huh. nigga. <laughs> like shit, that shit, is, that shit fire. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to get my uh, my own apartment, bro. Like a, a better apartment so I can yeah. decorate that motherfucker. A lot more long term place. Yeah, somewhere I'm gonna be staying at for life. Well, for a long time. I'm not say for a long time. Yeah. I'll probably end up getting two other motherfucking joints. It's just, I'll probably end up just doing that. Like I won't be the type of dude who get, just goes everywhere, everywhere I go, I get a place. <laughs> that would be me, bro. Like if I, I could keep it up, bro. or if I could at least rent, rent them all out while I'm gone. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. It's like, I'm here. If I'm, if I'm, like, in New York a lot, for some reason, like... You're going to need a place. You... Well, Exactly. You're going to need a place to make your music, too. So it's like... Facts, exactly. You're not going to really be... What you think about that? Do you think... What's, what? <laughs> Let's do an over-under studio versus oh, yeah. home studio. <laughs> the studio. That's overrated? Oh, the studio is uh, underrated. The, the Like the professional paying for studio time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but not... But, uh, yeah, I, I mean, like the studio, the building... Like the building, it's underrated. Like, it's underrated. Like if I could have this setup and go in the building and then like yeah and had a soundproof walls and everything, then yeah. I'd so be you mean this the the, the the setup is what's yeah. underrated because everybody right. yeah, is yeah. talking about but, but, do it yourself, do it yourself, do yeah. But record, but recording at home, it's like yo, it's either you. Well, recording here is overrated. But <laughs> like home, home, 
if you're like a whole home, like where you at, where you at, you can like make soundproof shit. Like you can go get some soundproof right. shit and put it up. And like, yeah, I can't do that here. This shit's small as fuck. Yeah. The most I would do is put my blanket up, and that don't even kill the white noise. But I still need a house. I still need a house. For real. Yeah. That nigga. Uh, we talk about this nigga every time. That's the thing too. The the better your sound gets. Like the better audio quality we end up having, especially when we potting in person, um, you know, the more it's gonna pick up shit that you never thought it was. So you're gonna yeah, need. You're right about that. uh, that's why I'm gonna say like I'm gonna need a house, and I'm gonna just either have a basement be like that, or have like a room, dedicate a room to that shit, yeah. and I just soundproof the whole shit out. The floor. I said I'm like three hundred dollars. Nigga, the floor, the walls, the roof, soundproofed. And That's what I want to do. I want to travel and record my like. I want to like take my mic on my laptop and like go different. That's why I want an RV, places. bro. Like shit. Some of my favorite songs from artists be shit that they made on the road. Oh yeah, like shit. While they was in t- the tour bus. In the tour bus. Because it's like that shit fire. It's like what we do. It reminds me exactly uh-huh. of what we what we do now. We on our way to the venue and we making music while we on our way to the venue. Right. Shit. We so lit. We, we, we performing. We giving different cities. Lord, this is how snippets, snippets get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not for real. But snippet, I'm talking about you just made it. Yeah. You ain't even got the feature I yet. Just made it before I even before I even got off the bus. You, you ain't even got the face. feature on it. You ain't even got that nigga on it yet. He ain't even on it. Like shit. <laughs> I don't. I, look, he, he, look, he about to get mad about features. <laughs> it's the, it's so funny that. I know though, you about so to hate funny. that shit. I just, I just was about to say something. I don't need no nigga features. I don't, I don't want no feature. I, I was about to say I hate. I before I say that because I know that we're gonna segue into. I'm about to say I love features. <laughs> I want, I was going to say, I want to record in the quiet room. Like, you ever heard of the quiet room? It's a, a room, and it's a little quiet. Like, it's, like, really quiet, and it's, like, to the point you Is it a famous, like, room? Yeah, I guess it's famous. It's popular.